In the first instance of Effect Rack, I'm using Decapitator on the setting E with the drive turned to about 4 and the thumb knob on to add quite a bit of low end into the mix. Then CQ is turned up all the way to 15 on the low knob. This will add significant amount of low end into the bass, so I'm compensating the gain by turning the drive down by 15 dB so it stays consistent. Next up, in Filter Freak, I'm not doing as much frequency shaping as I am doing level modulating. So under Tweak button here, you can see using level modulation turned up to 18 dB, it's going to modulate the entire signal amplitude-wise up and down in a transient shaping fashion. I'm using attack around 160 milliseconds to allow all of that picking of the bass come through and then release is set to medium 500 milliseconds so it bounces back just in time for the next note. Let's listen to the bass DI signal dry first and then with the quake preset in effect rack. The next plugin I'm using on the bass is Little Radiator with the noise switch off and the heat turned down just about 2 to 3 dB. This adds a bit more harmonic saturation around the mid range, which helps translate to smaller speakers. The last instance of effect rack on the bass track is acting as a parallel effect through the global mix knob turned to 21%. This will preserve a lot of that original DI sound in our mix. This decapitator is also using the E setting, but with the punish button turned on, which destroys the audio signal in a very harmonically pleasing way. Even though the punish button is on, the mix knob helps controlling the growl while allowing the bass to cut through the mix. Next up, I'm using two instances of Filter Freak back to back, with the first one set to a low pass filter and the second one set to a band pass filter. The second filter freak on a bandpass filter is focusing the energy mostly in the low mid-range while cutting out the ultra low frequency in the bass. As we're dialing in the effect in parallel, it doesn't matter that we don't have a lot of low end. I want mostly the mid-range to come through and this helps not muddy up the signal. Thank you. 